So we're back at our lighting circuit, this time carrying out our insulation resistance test. We've put all cover fronts on, all our switches have still been left in the on position. Okay, our light switch, um, our light covering here is on, and our cover is off currently on our fluorescent light fitting. The reason being, the fittings inner guts are actually still connected to line and neutral. So in this case, the electronic part of this fluorescent light fitting is currently connected to the circuit, or in the old fashioned type, we've got the capacitor in parallel across the supply for power factor correction, which is also connected. So what we've done to overcome the problem is disconnect the switching line, from the actual connector block inside the fitting, left it on its own separate connector blocks temporarily, so we can just curl it out of the way, and then we can refit our actual cover on our press and light fitting at this stage. So that will be all covers on, all loads removed in that stage. Then we go into our consumer unit, we're going to carry out an insulation resistance test with the devices in the off position. Reason being, we're concerned that the electronic components inside the RCD will be tested at the 500 volts during the test itself and we don't want that to happen. So circuits, breaker and RCD are off. We're going to test from the top of the breaker and between the neutral and earth bars within it. We've set our instrument up correctly for insulation resistance test, as stated before in a previous video. Once we do, has got my cover on. I can go away with our test. Thank you. So we're going to test the first of all between line and our protective conductor. We do. We can hold that for you, please. Okay, and when I'm ready, can you press the test button for me? So connecting between the top of the breaker and our earth bar, press and hold the test button. Our insulation resistance is greater than the scale available on the instrument, so we're over 999 in this case. So I'm happy with our test results to record is plus 999. Go between our earth bar and neutral bar and press and test again. Press and hold. Press and hold for me, Rudy. Thank you. Greater than 999 again. And then finally between line and neutral, press and hold for me, Rudy. And we're greater than 999 then. However, we are not finished the insulation resistance test, because at this stage we need to go through and look at the circuits that we've got. One way light switch, fine left on. However, we've got two way, or in this case, two way intermediate switching. So we must make sure the other strap of the comes in circuit in order to complete the insulation resistance test. To do this, we turn off the two-way switch, doesn't matter which one of the two we choose, and we turn it on at the other two-way switch point, leaving the intermediate switch alone. This has now put the other strapper in circuit, and the insulation resistance test needs to be completed again. In a large installation, it will require you to walk around the building, operating two-way switches into the other on position before returning to the consumer unit and carrying out the insulation resistance test again. So we're going to go line to earth bar, press and hold. Greater than 999. Let's go between earth bar and neutral. Press and hold. And then finally, on completion of both stages of the insulation resistance test, at this point we can record our results as for each of them greater than 999 mega ohms.